Never thought I'd live in Laguna Woods Never thought of moving into the old folks' hood My friends all laughed, told me it'd be a bummer But now I'm living in an endless summer Yeah, these are the tales from Laguna Woods I'm telling tales from Laguna Woods Yeah, life in Laguna Woods I'm telling tales from Laguna Woods I am in the middle of the most wonderful book, and it's so romantic. I thought you weren't going to be in on this call. Why aren't you out frolicking with that man? Frolicking? Is that what the kids are calling it now? Oh, I really want you all to read this book now, and then we could start a book club. I like that idea. I mean, I think that's a great idea. You know, I'm reading something really good now. We could have a book club and I know just what to do. I don't know if I'm going to have the time. I'm, I've got more cooking customers now than ever before. And I'm in the middle of a book I'm really enjoying. It's called Cooking for Picasso. It's got mm -hmm. recipes and a really juicy love story. My time can only stretch so far, you know. And if only I had some help, Morgana. Have you ever heard of audiobooks, Jackie? You can listen to the book while, you, while you're cooking. And really, do you want me in the kitchen again? Are you nuts? Remember the last time? The food processor, the, the top in flight? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm still finding bits of it everywhere. Thank you very much. But there are things you can do. Like what? What can this daughter possibly do that doesn't wreak havoc? I love you, Mom. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I'll find something. Subject at hand. Books, books, books. Okay, Bobby, a book club is a great idea. And, you know, I've facilitated several. So, number one, what we have to decide is who's going to be in charge. But it doesn't have to be me. But you're so good at it. Well, I mean, probably <clears throat> I do have the most experience. Well, but it was my idea for the book club, and, well, I want you all to read the one that I'm reading now. Oh, Bobby, Lauren is a professional, dear. You don't have the experience. Oh, Mom's right. Look how well you organized your life. I don't care who's in charge, as long as it's not me. And, frankly, I think Lauren would do a great job. Thank yeah. you, Jackie. All righty then, number two, we have to decide how often we're going to meet. Once a week, every two weeks, once a month. Yeah. I mean, I know during this lockdown, I've been reading voraciously, so I can meet once a week. Uh, not even possible. Once a month will be pushing it. Well, Judge Judy is in reruns right now, so I can spend some more time reading. Whatever you girls want, the, the book I'm reading right now is quite fascinating. Once a month, book reading should be leisurely, like sex, not hurried and forgotten. Oh, right. Thanks for putting that image in my head. I was thinking every other week. Once a month it is. Now we have to decide how we meet. Well, for now, I guess it'll have to be Zoom. And it, it, that works for me. I like Zoom. I don't have to get all dressed up, even, even if it is at your house, Jackie. You never know who might be joining us. I, I assume we can bring friends? Um, it should just be the five of us. Why? Aren't you bored with just the five of us already? It'd be great to have Charlie. Oh, I think it would be so interesting to have other people's point of views, not just ours. 
I wonder if Clay Darcy reads books. <laughs> I don't care what anyone thinks. It should just be the five of us. Okay, then the five of us it is. Are, are you writing everything down, Lauren? I think we should declare you our supreme leader. I think it's very nice of Lauren to take on this responsibility. Well, so do I, Mom. I, I, I didn't mean that as an insult. But what happens after the quarantine? Then where will we meet? Jackie's living room, like we always do. Well, sometimes I'd like a break. It doesn't always have to be at my house. Okay, so, you know, we've pretty much covered three and four. So now number five is refreshments. And I suppose I'm in charge of that. Well, if you leave it to me, it's going to be string cheese and crackers. No, no, Jackie, you don't have to be in charge of that. We can take turns. And we can always order in. Oh, and that was the problem with your marriage. Men like women who can cook. I guarantee you that is not what he liked about duck-lipped McBoobs. <laughs> well, I'll bet she's cooking for him now. Maybe I should send her a few recipes. Don't you dare. I was just thinking like wine and pretzels. Do you want us to starve? Wine and pretzels? In my house? At least not without the string cheese. Okay, so now we have to figure out and establish rules on how a book is chosen. Well, since this book club was my idea, I think that my book should go first. It's called the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. And we have to do it in a democratic fashion. Absolutely. How is that done? So what do we do? Mm -hmm. Throw all the names in a hat and pick one out? You know, my book really should go first. It's, it's written by Mitch Album. It's the magic strings of Frankie Presto. It's the journey of a world-renowned guitarist and how he became who he was. And it's fiction and it's great stuff. Well, since I have the least amount of time, why don't we start with my book, Cooking for Picasso. I'm halfway through it and I know I can finish it by the end of the month. But when does the month start? I mean, does it start at the first of the month or the first Tuesday after the first Monday? Lauren, I think this is a very important rule. You're right, Bobby. So let's make it one month from today. And we can start with my trailer, which won't take any time. And you know, you guys, it starts off really slow, but then it's like a roller coaster. Well, wow, well, Lauren, when you take over, you really do take charge. We'll do it your way, your book. Doesn't anyone want to read about Bombay Anna, the real story about Anna and the King of Siam. Well, Mom, we all know the story, and we've all seen the movie. I'm getting to know you. <laughs> oh, you don't know everything. We're going to get to all the books, you guys. This is just the starting point. This is a problem. I don't want to stop reading what I'm reading just to read what you want us to read. Oh, well, nobody's stopping you. You can finish the book you're on, and then you just start the next one. It's not that simple. Right, and, and, and I don't even know if I'll have time to finish. And, and what happens if we don't finish? Do we get fined? Oh, good idea. If we get enough money in the fine jar, we can all take a trip. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. When, this guy when the quarantine's over. Over, yeah. oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere now, and neither should any of you. Okay, so we're going to start with the thriller. And um, I think since we're including thrillers, we should start thinking of what else? Well, you know, I don't like books that scare me, so I think this should be the only one. Well, what about detective stories? Oh, they scare me too. Oh, my genre is biographies. I like reading about real people in real places. Absolutely, Eunice. We will be including biographies. Oh, that's so boring. Now, my book, The 
the potato peel pie society has real people and they even made a movie out of it oh not a very good movie well i like all kinds of books as long as they're well written there, there shouldn't be a limit incredibly enough i agree with morgana well, I, I guess i should get my head out of cookbooks and into literature which my book is let's make mine the second one you know, the book club was my idea. Don't I have anything to say? Of course you do. I mean, we're all equal partners here. Yeah, right. There's no doubt we're living in challenging times. With the world changing around us, it's more important than ever to keep yourself and your family safe and healthy. From masks to gloves, touch-free thermometers, and medical-grade cleaning solutions, we have everything you need to make it through. Located right down the street from Laguna Woods, adapt to it, we've got you covered. Hi, I'm Robert with Laguna Premier. As we all face the disruptions of the COVID-19 pandemic, our first priority is the health of our clients, employees, and community. Hi, I'm Claire. We are adapting, working together like never before. I'm confident we will provide the same high level of service our clients have come to expect. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Many people are still selling and buying homes in Laguna Woods. As a leading real estate firm in Laguna Woods, we are open and here for you. Thanks for hopping on the Zoom call early, Marilyn. I really need your help, and I don't want Mom to know. Of course, you can tell me anything. How can I help? Oh, Marilyn. Oh. Oh. It's, it's Morgana. Morgana? Oh, for God's sake, Morgana, I need help, and I need it. I need money, and, and you're the only person I know who has ever been in this kind of pickle. But please don't tell Mom. Oh, of course not. Go on. Tell me what's wrong. Well, it's Ben. I hate to admit that Lauren was right, but he has deserted me. When I woke up, he was gone. And all of my money and my clothes and my credit cards were gone. It was all gone. Ugh. You know, I don't have any money. I'm going to have to ask Mom. Okay, but can't you pretend it's for you? Oh, sure. Let's let Sis take the fall again. <sighs> oh, I thought I'd be the first one on. Oh, hi, Bobby. Bobby, what is wrong? You don't look good. Is everything all right? You really don't look good. Did you eat something that didn't agree with you? You know how sensitive your stomach is. Oh, I, I'm just fine. She's not fine. Ben took off with her money, her credit cards, her jewelry, the works. My sister is flat busted in Costa Rica. What? What? Oh, Bobby, I told you not to go. I told you not to give him any money. Merriman, I knew you'd be a bad influence on her. Me? How is this my fault? Bobby, this is what you get for running away with a man when I told you not to go. But I I've never asked you for anything like this. Please help me. Just this once. I'm not Marilyn. I'm not going to say I told you so, but let me ask you. I mean, do you have any idea where he could have gone? Did you go up to the front desk and see if they know anything? Did he take a taxi? Do you know anything? No, I, I just want to come home. All I have is a pair of slacks, a bikini, and a sexy sweater. <laughs> oh, Bobby, it'll be okay. What can we do for you? Oh, I know what we can do for you. How much money do you want and where do I send it? Oh, I do not even know if we can get a flight to get you home. But let me look. Yes, yes, 
Yes, there is a flight going from Costa Rica to Puerto Rico. And so you can get a flight home from there, I'm sure. So Bobby, are you packed? And do you have a little money because you need to get to the airport right now? The flight is get- a charter and it's leaving tonight. I will get there come hell or high water. I, I thank you all. You, you're lifesavers. Marilyn, meet me on Zoom right now. Mother, this is ridiculous. Why don't you just come out of your room and knock on my door? We're, we're in the same house. I'm coming out now, but I wanted you to be ready before I do. Ready for what? We're going to LAX. I just got a text from your sister, and she's on her way home, and we have to go get her. Right now? Well, it'll be hours before she gets there. And now that more people have gone back to work and are traveling, the freeways and the airport are busy again, and it will be hours before we get there. Now let's go. Now! Don't worry, I'll think of something. <sighs> I think I screwed up here, I'm sorry. I lost I lost my place. I've got cue cards here. Not even possible. Once a month I'll be pushing it. <laughs> Eunice. Eunice, well Judge Judy. Eunice. Well, Judge Judy is in run, run, run reruns. Thanks for hopping on the Zoom call early. Marilyn, I really need your help and I don't want mom to know. It's, it, it, oh, Let me just stick We'll start head. again. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, hold on one second. David, at the end of this, I want some bloopers, okay? Mm-hmm.